How you doing everybody? It's Mr. Do The Math here and today we're going to talk about proofs, right? But proofs beyond CPCTC, right? CPCTC means what? Corresponding parts of what? Are congruent, right? So, um, in order to get here, we had to prove that triangles are first congruent, and then we look at the corresponding parts of those already equal triangles. All right. Um, with beyond CPCTC, we have to learn two, three new vocabulary words. The first one is this one, median. All right. Let's write that in your notes. The median is the segment. It's the segment that basically bisects the opposite segment of a side in a triangle, the side of a triangle. So it's the segment that cuts the opposite side in half. It's coming from the vertex though. So this is an example of a median. This segment here, coming from the vertex, right? And you know it's a median because he creates two equal segments. So if this was A, B, C, and this is D, B, D would be a median, right? It's coming out of the vertex. It's a segment that comes out of a vertex and cuts the opposite side in half, all right? That's what a median is, all right? So every median creates equal segments, right? So if this was a median here, you would have equal segments there. If you had a median here, it would create equal segments there. Does everybody get that? Yeah. You get that? Okay. Yeah. So the other word is called an altitude. An altitude, much like a median, creates a perpendicular line, right? So it comes out of the vertex and it creates a 90 degree angle, right? That's what altitudes do. So if this was the same triangle, right? This was the same triangle and BD was the altitude, AOT, he would create perpendicular lines. So here, the median says that creates that A being congruent to D. A, D being congruent to D, C, right? Um, this part here, the altitude creates this. It creates A, D, B, angle A, D, B being congruent to angle C, D, B, right? Why are these two congruent? Why would these two angles be congruent? Why would this angle and this angle be congruent? Because what? Are they complementary? Uh, Not quite. Mark. When the angle is bisected, it's going to do Something like that. What was you saying, Nico? It's because we can we know that uh, B, D, A is a right angle. Yeah. yeah. It's, remember, you said perpendicular, right? So both of these are 90 degree angles, right? Yeah. And all right angles are congruent. So that's how we would know that, right? So that's the thing about an altitude. So a median cuts the segment in half. An altitude creates a perpendicular line, or perpendicular lines, which makes 90 degree angles, okay? So that's the first part. That's the first part of this section here. And then, uh, so we have this. And then we have one more word. It's called an auxiliary line. Auxiliary. I'm not sure if I spelled it right or not. Auxiliary line is the line that we write ourselves. It's an invisible line. So for instance, if we had this situation here, you had uh, this triangle, um, this A, B, C, and we call this D, right? And if the given information said this, uh, segment AB is congruent to segment BC, all right? And then they said that segment AD is congruent to segment DC. Segment DC, all right? This is given, right? Can we, or what would we need to do to prove that A, B, let's do B, A, D, angle B, A, D was congruent to angle B, C, D? What would we need to do to prove this? What would have to happen? All right, or could you? Could you prove that? You don't know? 
First things first, let's, let's mark the congruent parts. These are congruent, remember I said to mark congruent parts, and then we saw that these are congruent, okay? Mm -hmm. Now we have two congruent sides. Auxiliary line is a line we draw. So it didn't come with the original problem. There is, all right, so what we're gonna do is create a line here. What would be the best kind of line to prove that we could, that, that would help us prove that these two sides are congruent, these two angles are congruent? What would you draw a line? If you could draw a line anywhere in this figure, where would you draw it? Up a vertical line. Up a vertical line, which way? Yeah, yeah, I would too. You would draw this line here, right? And you can draw this line because to make a line, you only need how many points? Two. Two, Two. points, right? Mm -hmm. So if we draw this line here, then we would have uh, another side, and we have how many triangles here? Three. Three. Yeah, three triangles. Bam, bam, bam. You actually have four, right? In the fourth one. But you have three triangles. What can you say about two of the three triangles? How so? Side, side, side. Why would this be side, side, side? Why is this side congruent to? Exactly. So in your proof, you could add that DB is congruent to DB because of reflexive property, right? Now, because you can prove that this is reflexive property, you can say that this is congruent based on what? What's the theorem that proves this is congruent? Talk to me now. C, P, C, T, C, all right? Because if all the sides are congruent, then all the angles can be congruent. This would be a corresponding part, right? So um, the thing from here is the auxiliary line. We draw an auxiliary line, okay? So we got our medians. We cut segments in half. Coming from the vertex, you have your altitude. That creates a perpendicular line from the vertex. And then you have your auxiliary line, which is the line that we draw ourselves, okay? You can't prove CPCTC until you prove that a triangle is congruent. So those triangles are congruent based on, like you said, side, side, side. Okay? How do you feel about median altitude and auxiliary lines? You okay with that? Yeah. All right. All right. Now we're going to do a proof in a second, but from here we're going to end this video. Let's do the bath out.